Isabel, and welcome to my first video. So, I'm American, but I've never lived in America. I was actually born and raised in Berlin, Germany, so technically that would make me German. But, both of my parents are American, and I have an American passport, so technically that would make me American. But then again, I've never lived in America, so it's really confusing. My parents moved here in 2001, and I was born in 2005, so obviously I was born here. I've grown up like any other German kid. I speak German fluently. I've gone to German school my entire life, but I've grown up in an American household because my parents obviously raised me, and they're both completely American. Being bilingual is pretty cool, but it definitely comes with its challenges, especially because of the fact that German is a really hard language, much, much harder than English. English is actually pretty easy. And even for a person, even for German kids, German is still gonna be hard. When I was little, I actually thought that German was easier because when you first start learning to read, everything that you, I like each letter in the word is how you pronounce it. So you pretty much say it like you read it. No, wait, you read it like you say it. I'm not sure which one. <laughs> um, and in English, there's tons of words that are silent, no, tons of letters that are silent, like, 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 tons of words with E on the end that's silent, and that's really confusing for a German kid, who for a bilingual kid. Oftentimes, Germany is seen in a negative light, just because, probably because of Germany's past, and Americans tend to see Germans as, like, cold people and rude, just because Germans are more direct, and they're just, they get to the point quicker than Americans, I guess. And Americans are like, all like, sweet. Germans are sweet too, but it's like, in a different way. I don't know. It's confusing. And that's something that also confused me in the past because I guess I, I communicate more on a German way. So I think sometimes people in America almost think I'm rude or something, even though I'm speaking normal English. So yeah, it's also confusing. Now some of the great things that are different in Germany than in Berlin. So first of all, college is free here, which is very convenient because in America it's really expensive. I think it's like, I don't know, like 50,000 a year. I don't actually know, but it's free here. I mean, yes, it's harder to get in, but that's definitely very convenient. Second, food is really cheap here. I don't know why, it just is. And one thing that's that that's really annoying in in America is that in Germany the the tax included in the price is already included on the price tag and in America there's the price on the price tag and then when you go to pay for it it adds like a dollar on top because of tax it's much easier to pay for things in Germany yeah maybe that's just me but I don't know we go to America like two to th once one to three times a year so uh always for like about i don't know two to four weeks or something so i'm definitely no stranger to america it's not a foreign country to me we go there to visit family and stuff like that and i know lots and lots of people there so i definitely see it as more of a second home why do i have a basketball in my room i don't even play basketball Sometimes I'm actually not sure if I feel more American or more German, which I guess is weird because I've never lived in America, so I probably automatically feel more German, but I really have no idea because I feel both, I feel so attached to America, even though I've never lived there. It's really weird, I don't really get it. Maybe that's just part of being a third culture kid. I wanted to start a YouTube channel to share my life as a third culture kid, because I think a lot of people can actually learn something from that. And I wanted to show people that aren't German what Germany's really like, because it truly is a really cool country. Berlin is, I think, one of the greatest cities in Europe. So yeah. So if you wanna know more about my chaotic life, and if you wanna see more of me, then feel free to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, 
definitely be sure to comment them in the comment section below or you can just follow me on instagram and ask them uh there my instagram is at izzy marie and follow me on tiktok <laughs> so see you in my next video and bye